Okay, let's finish this thing. Number 15. We're trying to figure out which of these goes correctly from exponential to logarithmic form. Quite honestly, I like to start with the logarithmic form and turn it into exponential. That's just easier for me. So we start with the base, go around the world. So 3 raised to the x equals 1 over 27. And then I look to see if that's what this said. And it didn't. So A is not the answer. Okay, I try it with B. 4 raised to the x equals 0.2. And then I see if that's what this said. And it doesn't, so it's not B. Okay, C, I start with 5, raise it to the x, and that should equal 25. And that's exactly what that says. So C is my winner. Okay, number 16. We're solving. Okay, so if we only see log one time or natural log one time, then we rewrite it in exponential form, like we were practicing up here. So we start with the base, raise it to the negative one, and then that will equal x. So it's like going around the world. And I can just put that in my calculator, 1 eighth to the negative one power. So I'm gonna go ahead and do alpha y equals, enter, one on top, eight on bottom, and I raise it to the negative one. And that is eight. So eight is my answer. So if you see log one time or natural log one time, then write it in exponential form. Go around the world. Base to the power equals the number. Okay, 17. It's telling us to use log base 5 of 2 and log base 5 of 3 to approximate this, but we don't need to do that. We can just put this straight in our calculator. And there's two ways to do it, so I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, so one way to do this is to go to math, and then you can arrow down, and it's this one right here. It's uh, choice A. Now, the other way you can do it is alpha window, alpha window, and then it's number five. So it doesn't matter which way you do it, both of them will pop up the same thing, but five's my base, so I type in the five, and then I type in the 12. And it says round to four decimal places. So 1.54, oh, look what's gonna happen. That fourth number, that nine, is gonna round to 10 because it's a five or higher behind it. So that means that three will also round up. So four, zero. That one was a little tricky for the rounding. Okay, and then number 18, same thing. So let me show you again what you can do to find these. So either push the math button and arrow down until you see letter A and hit enter, or you can alpha window and it's choice number five. So I put my base in, which is nine, and I put my 72 in. Oops. Okay, and four decimal places. We'd have 1.946, and that three is gonna round up to a four because we have a five or higher behind it. Okay, so those are really easy. You just have to know how to use your calculator. Okay, and then the last two we're solving. Okay, so number 19, I see log base five on the left and log base five on the right. So since they both have the same base, then that means these two expressions will equal each other. 4x minus 1 will equal x plus 2. So that's the equation we have to set up. 4x minus 1 equals x plus 2. So since both sides have log in the same base, it's like those just like cancel out, and then you just set the 4x minus 1 equal to x plus 2. And this one's easy. We just need to get x's on the same side, 
So I'm going to move this positive x by subtracting it. This zeroes out. 4x minus x makes 3x. Bring down the minus 1. And then I'm going to bring down my 2. And then to get rid of subtraction of 1, I'm going to add 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. And when I divide, I get 1. Okay, the only thing I want to check out is to make sure that when I plug my 1 in, that I don't get 0 or anything negative. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So this made a 3. And that's not 0 or uh, less than. So that's good. And then I'm going to plug my 1 into this x also. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So it works. Both sides are the same, which is what we want. And neither of them gave us 0 or a negative number. And the reason we're not doing the number line is because this is not an inequality symbol. If that was an inequality symbol, a less than, a greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, we'd have to do the number line like we did at the very beginning. Okay, and last problem, number 12, or 20, sorry. Okay, so when you see log more than once on one side of the equals, you need to condense it so you only see log once. So this is when we have to follow our rules. And I really think that this is a typo. I really think that this is supposed to be an addition sign. So I'm going to change it to an addition sign right now. Okay, so when we see addition, it means to multiply these two together. So I write log base 2, and then I'm going to multiply my x plus 4 and my x minus 3. And then I recopy equals 3. Okay, before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. So I'm actually going to multiply this. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3, I'm going to write it up here as negative 3x. 4 times x is 4x. Well, what do you get if you combine those? 1x or x. And then 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Okay, so I've got log base 2 of x squared plus x minus 12 equals 3. So once you see log one time, you put it in exponential form. Like this one up here, we had log one time. So base raised to power equals x. So this is the same sort of thing here. So the base raised to the third power equals x squared plus x minus 12. Okay, 2 cubed is 8, so I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Remember, if you're working with a quadratic, that's when the highest exponent's a 2, you have to make one side say equal 0. So I'm making this side equal to 0 by subtracting 8, and that's because 2 cubed is 8. So 8 minus 8 is 0. Drop your x squared. Drop your plus x. And negative 12 minus 8 makes negative 20. Okay, so now I can A times C rooftop this. And it's the easy one. So A times C, 1 times negative 20 is negative 20. I want the numbers to add to make 1. And do you know what multiplies to make negative 20? and adds to make one, five and negative four. So one parenthesis will be x with a plus five and the other set of parentheses will be x with a minus four. And then I have to solve. So if you set x plus five equal to zero, what would you get if you solved that equation? Negative five, because you'd subtract five. And what would you get if you set x minus 4 equal to 0 and solve that equation? Positive 4, because you would add 4. Okay, now we just have to make sure that when we plug them back in, that we don't get a negative or 0 in our um, expression after the base. Okay, so if I plug negative 5 right here, what's negative 5 plus 4? Negative 1. Uh-uh, that's a negative number. Can't have that. So now let's try the 4. So if I put 4 in here, 4 plus 4 is 8. That's fine. 
And if I put four here, four minus three is one, that's fine. It didn't give me any negatives or zero. So four is our answer. And that's it. That's the end of our unit 10 review. Smiley face. Good luck on your test.